you were a kid in the 90s, you might remember this show. Legends of the Hidden Temple. This guy was the host, Kirk Fogg. <laughs> thank you, thank you, nice to see you. Legends of the Hidden Temple, for those who didn't watch it, was an iconic game show out of the 90s by Nickelodeon. Are you ready, Olmec? Let's rock. Barely anybody won. There were 120 shows and like only 30 winners. Teams, are you ready? Yeah! I guess now we can finally get answers to all of our Legends of the Hidden Temple questions. Who was Olmec? Yeah, as it turns out, there was a guy standing inside his face. But he stands back there and he has a microphone here, his copy here, and he has his hand on the lever that handles the mouth. See, I'm gonna ruin it for all the kids. A lot of people ask, who were the temple guards? Oh, temple guards! They were the guys who used to help out during the show. But here's a little behind the scenes secret. Occasionally, some of the writers would dress up. I think they vicariously got a thrill out of scaring the crap out of kids going to that temple. I felt bad for a few of them. But they really did scare the crap out of kids. This poor girl got really super upset in the middle of the run and she threw up. Uh, and unfortunately, she threw up in the pit of despair. Oh, God. Everybody asks, what was the hardest room? And I think probably for everybody, it was the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. These three things look similar together because they're kind of all silver, so you have to kind of stack them on. Turn it around, no, turn the head around. I was actually an expert at it. So yeah, the temple was pretty impossible. Is that the only reason there were so few winners? The producers were only allowed to give out eight championships a year, so there was a budget. And that's the truth of that. Oh no. Oh yeah.